Righty ho, loyal, where are you? I have some good news. Nope, not you. Morning. Morning, yes it is good morning, isn't it? Oops. Where's it gone? Have you got out for a stroll or something? Or maybe he's in... Oh, he's here! <laughs> Where are you going, old time? We're looking for you. Hello, outsider. Need something? I repaired the solar arrays. Well, how about that? Turns out you aren't completely useless working with your hands. Oh, level up, is it? No, just a few points. VR pods in the mess hall? Can I get a code? <laughs> Why would I want a code for them? No, those aren't for outsiders to use. Leave them alone. Look, I'm generally interested in your people's history. What are the pods for? Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. We dream to one day rule the skies. Okay, bye. Later. Flame in hell. Flight simulators, that would be fun. Do 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 do. That's next on my list of things to do. Help the boomers around Nellis. Okay, who else needs help? Oh yes, there was a quest that re required me to listen to that. There you go. Listen to a little Petey's stupid tour. Boomers Museum, there we go, over there. Maybe I will listen to this tour. Hi, you Pete. I heard you give a mean tour. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Yes, are you wearing eyeliner? Anyway. <laughs> I'd like to know all about your people. Fill me in. I've got all the time in the world. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Uh, yes, sure. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready. Don't look at me like that, Mr. Boone. Humor the child. Ooh, what's this? That's actually quite good. You Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. Yeah, overseers can be boring like that. We left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, oh, burned nice. them with flamethrowers. Nice! It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. <sighs> we needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Nellis. That's right, you did. You needed Nellis. And then you, then you waltzed. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here are mighty guns to destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... So I waltzed in, eh? Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage. <coughs> anyways, Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. Mr. Poon, you're ruining the show. And that is our story so far. Try to step your head out For the way. For this last image, is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. Ignorant this is our destiny. savages. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Uh. Let me know. Do I get experience for listening to that? I'm hoping so. That's all I did it for. Just so I can level up, you stupid child. Obviously not. Right, any bottle caps here? Sunset Sasperulis? 
No, there's a whole heap of bloody skill books, though. Skill magazines. What's this on the table? Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. Oh, I'm overflowing with them. So many questions, they've cancelled each other out, and I've got none. I have some questions about your people's history. No. See you later, alligator. See you later! Thanks for the tour! Is that it? Have I told... have I... no! Why have I not completed this? Okay, fine, I'll ask questions if it completes the quest. Now that you know the story of our people... Uh... Who are you? Me? I'm Pete, keeper of the story. I know I seem kind of young. I was the apprentice keeper of the story until a couple months ago. But old keeper Don, well, whiskey and landmines don't go together. Oh dear. So it's up to me. I bet you want to know everything about us. Really? Do I? No, I don't think I do actually. See you later, alligator. Yeah, see you later. I'm not convinced that I will. I think he will be a permanent uh, marker on the map. Well, I listened to his mumbo jumbo and not a damn thing. What? Right, who's next on the list of things to help? I don't know. There's one close by, round about there, in the schoolhouse. I'll go take a look. See what they want. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, Outsider, but I have patience to tend to. Oh, really? Well, we're looking for you. I'm looking for ways to make myself useful. Maybe I could help you. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. Oh, dear. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? Of course. I'm a damn doctor. Dr. Morgan, they call me back many years ago. I've still got a few skills. <laughs> Let's see what I can do. If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. Okay. Dr. Morgan about to relive his days in the operating theater. But not before I get some more training here. See, look at that. I'm not just Dr. Morgan. Hell, I'm Consultant Morgan. That's right. Okay, repair. We need 90 repair. Was it 90 repair to be able to use the perk? Uh, Lockpick 95. That's right. Barter. Don't need barter. Don't need any weapons. Don't need explosives. Lockpick. Many weapons now. Repair. Yeah. Science 50. Well, yeah. Might as well go to repair. Science 50. Uh, speech. I said I wasn't going to put any more into speech, didn't I? Okay. Some more repair then. Uh, Fine. That looks about right to me. Ah, excellent. Now can we get the marvelous jury rigging? Yes. Thank you. Okay, let's now just take a quick check on our NCR Ranger combat armor. Can we repair it with combat? Yes. Look at that. Damage threshold 20. 25. It's not quite as much damage threshold, but hey, I just love this armor. I really do. This is, it goes so well with the, with the beret and the glasses. I love it. I love this jacket. may not be quite as tough as power armor, but it's not as cumbersome. And it looks far better. I like it. Right, patience. This man appears to be severely injured. Swelling around his face and neck is interfering with his breathing. Are you sure you want to treat him? <laughs> Not a problem. I can treat this man. After carefully considering treatment options, you realize the patient is merely having a strong allergic reaction. By cleaning all wounds of ant venom and administering a steroid compound, you reduce the swelling and the patient's breathing returns to normal. See? I thought that man was done for. Well, you brought him around. Yeah, damn right. Argyll. Not even Dr. Argyll. 
Who are you to... These people trust you with medicine around here? Disgrace. Anyway, number 34. Who are you? And how are you injured? Serious infection. Improper treatment will kill him. Lucky for you, I'm a consultant. Treat the infection. With a combination of natural herbs, bandages, and some disinfectant, you are able to clean the wounds and help boost the patient's immune system. He's going to survive. Excellent treatment. I hadn't thought of that. No. Simple but effective, eh? <laughs> and the last one. Man's leg seriously injured. May require amputation. <laughs> Mr. Boone, get me the hacksaw. Upon further examination, after cleaning the leg, you realise it can actually be saved. You carefully remove the existing stitches, clean the wounds thoroughly, then restitch the wounds closing or closed using as much more effective procedure. There was some fine doctoring. I could learn a thing or two from you. You sure could. Your botched up stitching almost cost that man his leg. Good grief, man. Did you have the shakes when you were doing that? Were you high on jet or something? <gasps> Ooh, almost stole from me. <laughs> yes, Doctor, I was merely helping myself to your supplies as a reward for helping your patients. No. I wasn't doing that. Okay. I like this helping out business. Goody two shoes, good karma and all that. Return to Pearl. Apparently I've done enough good deeds to have an audience with old Pearlikins. Hey, holy mother of pearl, how's it going? You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Well, I think I've done all I can. Fixed your solar array. Fixed up some injured people. I didn't sort your ant problem out, but hey, I can't do everything in one day. I'm worn out. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. Oh, the excitement's killing me. Speak to Loyal about the Boomer's plan to raise the bomber from the bottom of Lake Mead. A full scale bomber plane. Laying at the bottom of Lake Mead, they plan to raise it up because they have dreams of flying it once again. Well, they're crackpot fools if you ask me. But hey, we'll humor them. But for that charade, you'll have to join me in the next set of updates because we've come once again to the end of this current set of parts. So uh, until next time, see you soon. <laughs>